Tonight, the role of Ben Fenlon will be played by Ben Fryer. Uh, let's talk to another another super fan now. Uh, ben Bone is one half of Nay Ben's, a YouTube vlog that started out as a neighbour's comedy battle between two people called Ben and is now a love letter to the show. Um, morning, Ben. I, you know, I, sh- I wish I'd known about Nay Ben's earlier. You could have got me on too. <laughs> I know you've been the third Nay Ben. Yeah. We could have yeah. been a thing. <laughs> we are, uh, well, Ben, uh, how are you feeling? Oh, Ben, I feel like the moment Kerry Bishop got shot by the duck hunters. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> it's bit. <laughs> It's a, it's a very sad day today. Remember that? The duck, yes. <laughs> you just brought back a yeah. neighbour's memory flooding back. You've only been on five seconds. <laughs> impressive, impressive. Carry on. What can I say? Yeah, it's, 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 it's just super sad. You know, we've, the fans have been rallying around for the past um, three weeks, desperately trying to do whatever we can to save it. So, you know, we've had petitions, we've got the theme tune to number one on iTunes, we had um, Kylie and Jason, especially for you, um, in the top 10 on Valentine's Day. Um, And yeah, sadly, um, all the other broadcasters are um, clueless and don't want (laughs) to put their money into um, our lovely show. Are you surprised, Ben, because there are so many channels, especially, you know, if anyone's got a Sky subscription, so many digital channels, um, that yeah. you would have thought maybe one of them would have just gone, or even one of the, you know, the Amazons and Netflix of this world, one of them might have just gone, do you know what, let's keep it going. Yeah, it is. It's really sad because it's the decision for it to be axed is is financial. It's not because of its poor quality or because viewer figures are down. You know, the show at the moment is is incredible. It's got a host of um, kind of those like heritage characters like Melanie with the last and um, playing Jen Superbrain, the Kennedys, Paul Robinson, as well as a host of like really new characters. And it's you know it's contemporary, but it's still set in the roots of of those kind of eighties domestic light-hearted moments. So you know it's 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 really it's really great. So and the viewing figures are still. Um, still doing really well um it's winning awards it won the um, best stop at the radio times award um the other year you know so it just feels when the show's on such a high to go out it's 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 just devastating so why other channels aren't seeing that and thinking oh gosh actually that's that's a million and a half um viewers who absolutely will be guaranteed I don't know. It's I don't know what they're thinking is, but Melanie with the laugh. Yeah, another great memory. I remember. Exactly. I can remember Melanie with the laugh. Um, <laughs> so, what what attracted you to Neighbours first off, Ben? What got you hooked? I mean, I wish I could say Ben, but um, you know, I was very young, so I think I went from being obsessed with Fraggle Rock straight to to Neighbours. Um, but I started watching it in the really glory early days with you know um, Scott and Charlie, Mrs. Mangle, uh, Madge, all those kind of you know Gail with the shoulder pads, the Camisole special. Neighbours, everybody. Um, so it was it was that what kind of got me into it is it was kind of just those hair days of the, the romance of Scott and Charlene and I didn't really know what I was watching but everyone at school watched it and we just yeah fell in love with it and I just I'm I'm very loyal shall we say because here I am 20 and 37 years later still watching it the other thing I was thinking about because my mum and dad you know we watched it half past five uh every mm-hmm. every day at school this again peak days in the 80s and 90s I'm not sure I'd let my children watch soaps now because of the issues that they tackle and sometimes you know it can be they could be quite harrowing scenes can't they was it a bit more wholesome as well neighbors or did they still tackle the big stuff oh you th- you mean we you remember it as being all casseroles and yeah um, you know arguments over the fences but there what back in the day you know there was there's a really great um scene with um scott and kylie and jason's so scott and charlene when scott tried to um you know, take things go all the way with Charlene, as I used to say back in the day, and she didn't want to. And there was lots of like conversations around consent, which, for, for, you know, back to the eighties, that was a yeah. really powerful thing. And um, you know, I think as a as a gay man now, um, 
it has a lot of LGBTQ characters in it and I think I would have loved to have seen that when I was growing up myself represented on TV in the 90s um, and I think it's again it's just it's a shame that that it's it's important for you know for, for, for that for that representation of the for the young people to see that. Well, you've already mentioned Melanie with the laughs, Ben. A previous super fan <laughs> mentioned Darcy Tyler. Is there another character you want to throw some light onto that we probably won't think of immediately when you think of a neighbour's um, character? I mean, I always go for the obscure ones anyway. So, yeah. I mean, Queen Lynn Scully is always um, one to chuck in the mix because she was uh, an icon. Um, an absolute, you and know, she, was she married to Scully Joe? Families. Was she yeah, married to, was Joe, it Joe, Scott, and Joe was a typical Australian. Yeah, the larrikin. The yeah, absolutely. And then she even had a brief, I think, twelve-hour marriage to Paul Robinson at one point. <laughs> twelve hours. I can't do this to you. I cannot be married and not hurt you. What are you saying? Uh, and, yeah, I think it goes that, down as one of the shortest in Neighbours history. And is that the same? Is that the Holly Valance family? Was she a Scully? Yes. Okay, yes, this is. Um, I'm getting points here in the Neighbours quiz. She had a sister you as well, are. didn't she? Yeah, Steph Scully, amazing, good old Carla Bonner. Yeah. Yeah, and then they had, there was Jack, there was Michelle, there was Auntie Valda. Um, yeah, there was a whole host yeah. of them, and they would they would yeah. literally came in and just. After the the Martins left, they kind of dived in and cre- created havoc in the street. <laughs> so the Scullys are like, well, Ben. I mean, our last guest. Do you didn't think he'd missed an episode since two thousand and one? Have you ever missed an episode? Um, very, very few over thirty seven years. I am proud to say. <laughs> Fantastic. Oh. And and what's going to happen to Nay Ben's? Well, I think we're going to we're definitely neighbours maybe actually, but the neighbours will still carry on. And we will be like we said, it's a love letter to the show. We just do comedy videos, kind of discussing, taking the mick out of the show, and celebrating all the amazing things. And you know, with thirty-seven years worth of episodes and great moments, you know, I'm pretty sure that we've got um, some mileage left in the neighbours just yet. Why didn't anyone ever pay for a drink? When they bought it in the cafe, do you know why that is? They just used to go and just pull it out of the of the fridge. I know, like that is. I mean, that, that exactly. That's a dream. That's what you want, isn't it? That's probably why I watched it so much. Yeah. I just wanted to live in that world where everything was free. And in the cafe, I always played Edwin Collins. I've never met a girl like you before. <laughs> See, you know that, that those songs get. Um, you know, set in your memory forever. Yeah. And you know, gosh, without without Harold's Coffee Shop. Yeah. Sad, sad times. Yeah. Well, I'm just auditioning to to get on the Nay, Nay Ben YouTube vlog. Uh, ben, thank you very much. Uh, take care, won't you? Thanks for having us. Bye-bye. No worries. Uh, another Neighbours super fan in morning today, uh, Ben Bone of Nay Ben's uh, YouTube vlog. Uh, if you are mourning the loss of Neighbours, it's got a couple of months left. Whoa!